All right, folks, we'll do a two-for-one review. Uh, this time we have Thor, the Dark World. Thor, uh, one with the lightning bolt hammer and the other one with just a plain battle hammer. And obviously the difference is in um, the uh, accessories that came with the figure, but they do share the same mold, so I decided to review them at the same time. Let's have a quick look at the packaging. It's exactly the same. It says Thor, Thor. The only difference is really the... Uh, the name of the accessory, Lightning Bolt Hammer and Battle Hammer Thor. Uh, bios are different. Uh, very generic. Um, let's see if I can focus on that. Very generic uh, bios on each and wonderful, fantastic artwork uh, for both card backs. And they both have the same assortment. Uh, Character assort other characters in the assortment pictured in the back. Uh, I love these figures. Um, I absolutely like them. And if at all, I mean, the articulation, points of articulation of this figure are great. Uh, I couldn't be happier. The only thing missing, probably, if I'm going to be picky about it, is there's no waist articulation. But that's fine. I mean, they didn't. What I'm very pleased with is that Hasbro took the time to actually use their brains and not include those stupid gimmick, humongous, big-ass weapons with big-ass missiles at launch. I and mean, those are really just for kids. So here, you, you you know, they don't insult the kids by giving them crappy toys, and they don't alienate the collectors. And this is a win-win for both collectors and kids and, and the manufacturer. I mean, it's an um, it, this is great. Great for... For, for the non-kids, collectors, uh, adult collectors, and, and even for the kids. I mean, kids love points of articulation on a figure and don't underestimate them. And just to, to remove points of articulation, given that stupid gimmick, is just really, for me, insulting for kids. So anyway, very, very nice. I think they're a major, major improvement uh, from what we've had so far. This is from the Avengers Thor, uh, it's okay. Again, as you can see, no waist, no ankle. Um, and he does kind of look small. Uh, these figures, I mean, let me see if I can stand them up properly. They, they, look, they look a little bit massive, in my opinion. A lot more massive uh, than the previously released figures. Let's see if I can... And it was still retaining the essence of their pose. Let me see. Come on. Yeah, and I think the colors are better. The sculpt is better. The detail on them is just a lot, it's phenomenal. I, I, I'm just so pleased with these Thor figures, uh, detail-wise and, and sculpt-wise. Uh, again, as I said, the, just the missing articulation is probably the weak points of these figures, but overall, they're, they're great. So that's the one from the Avengers. From the first movie, we've got the Kenneth Branagh lookalikes. Um, not really the best figures. I think the, the first ones, Hasbro still had a learning curve uh, to me. They were petite, they were puny. Um, but they had fantastic articulation, I'll give you that. They got the upper torso articulation. They had complete articulation on all the limbs. And, uh, yeah. But I think, by far, these, the, the latest Thor figures are the best among all of these. If you want to keep um, uh, Thor figures, just pick from one. Uh, which kind of Thor figures would you want uh, for your Marvel Cinematic Universe? I say go with the Thor 2. Thor Dark World figures. Uh, we'll see about Thor 3, but as of now, uh, among the three toy lines, I like the Thor Dark World figures. So very, very cool. Uh, we're going to keep them in the background just so you get comparison. Anyway, uh, both figures share the same mold. I think even the same paint apps uh, on their armor. Uh, the only difference, obviously, are the arms. You see these arms have been recycled um, from the Avengers, uh, sort of, the, the Avengers uh, movie Thor, uh, which a little bit tweaked a little bit to give it uh, some, 
No, actually, they're new. Just the bicep has been... No, even the bicep is actually... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. My eyes are deceiving me. These are actually brand new molds. They did not recycle anything. Two more thumbs up for Hasbro. Um, did they recycle these? No, apparently not. These are brand new molds. And the only difference between them are the arms and obviously the head sculpt. As well as the accessories and... The, yeah, the accessories. But they've got the same legs, uh, same torso... Yeah, very, very cool, very, very impressed. And, you know, just not having those gimmicky missile thingies were just really, I, w I was already happy, but to give them fantastic articulation for their Thor figures, that is phenomenal. Okay, obviously this figure will have the cape, the helm, the head sculpt with the helmet, and the translucent hammer with the lightning bolt, which is very, very cool. This one obviously has the the head sculpt with the ponytail and no helmet, a cloak, no cape, which serves as his cape, and an opaque hammer. Uh, articulation for both figures, they're exactly the same. They got a ball jointed neck, ball hinge shoulders and elbows, wrist swivel, yay, no waist articulation, ball hinge hips, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball hinge ankles with rocker joint so they more or less have the avengers assemble type of articulation um with the inclusion of a wrist articulation so very very pleased with these figures now which one do you get um if you ask me uh wait sorry both of them um even if they don't have the waist articulation, I would give them both a 10 out of 10. I was ready to give them an 8.5, 9 out of 10 in packaging. But out of packaging, I realized they're pretty awesome. I give them a 10 out of 10. Which one do you get? Uh, if you have to choose one mm, and you're not really, you know, you don't care about accuracy and whatever, movie accuracy and whatever. I think this one is the better figure. But... If you're really into Thor, you like the Avengers, I say get them both. And for the main reason is because you can you can switch the weapons to give it a more accurate look. Depends on how on which kind of accuracy you want him to look like. If you want him in in this uh, part of the movie where he's in this um, garb, then it's fine. You keep him that way. If you want him in this in this uh, look, then it's fine. Um, I think you just have options. You can take remove you can swap the heads um, well this one's not gonna look that cool I mean he's yeah he's not gonna look that cool but this one will actually look interesting look at that uh, and instead of giving him the, uh, the light you can give this guy the lightning hammer he'll look really absolutely funny I know uh, but you can give this guy the opaque hammer which will in fact, if you missed out on the Avengers uh, Thor and you're looking for a cinematic universe Thor for your Avenger, cinematic Avengers shelf, this combination is actually not too bad. And I'm actually quite pleased with it. That's probably the strongest point I can argument I can give for buying both figures. And yeah, this guy looks great. Mixed match. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. Catch my uh, uh, toilet. Oops. And Thor has gone into his deep sleep. No, I'm not kidding. Um, you want to see my toy purchases? Go, uh, I listen down on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter, FX Trans. Uh, Keek will have mini haul. And um, toy sightings here in Manila will be on my Instagram channel, in, uh, Instagram account. FX France. I have two channels on YouTube. The FX France will have the toy hauls, and this channel, Shuffatron, will have all the great reviews for you. Thor, the Dark World Thor with the Battle Hammer and the Lightning Strike, Lightning Bolt Hammer. Thanks for watching.